what's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. This is DJ Easy Tick. <laughs> Time for the trending topics. Being brought to you by Icebox Diamond Jewelry and Watches in Buckhead for the best place to sign, buy, sell, or trade high quality diamonds, jewelry, and watches. Visit iceboxjewelry.com. All right, time for the trending topics. A lot of RB singers involved. Let's start with last night's Met Gala. Beyonce shut down the internet without even trying. Did you see the dress? Of course you did. It's been all over Instagram and the internet since it happened. Rihanna thought she was the last to arrive with her big yellow dress. The train took three burly dudes to carry behind her from a distance. She kind of looked like a fan. (laughs) She looked nice, though. She also performed at the gala. Beyonce was truly fashionably late, arriving arriving way past Rihanna's entrance. Her gown was absolutely sheer with some few uh, well-placed sequins to keep her street legal. The girl looked good. Jay-Z, God bless you. That's all I'm going to say. Did you see Solange's dress? So one of my favorite memes from yesterday was Jay-Z's face and then Solange's dress. And he was like, oh, man, this year she brought a shield. Of course. <laughs> Thinking about last year's epic fight that all <laughs> was caught on tape. Um, it must be really hard to be Solange, though, right? You got to think about it. I feel, man, yeah, do your thing, girl. Uh, J-Lo did her thing. She got the new fashion world, the uh, side butt. Her cutout gown had a very wide side slit that went beyond her waist and exposed those toned uh, derrieres. Kim Kardashian wore a dress that looked like something Cher wore years ago and Beyonce wore two years ago. And Madonna was, uh, arrived in Moschino, but so did Katy Perry. They had the same dress on. Who wore it better? I don't know. Hit up the sites and let me know. In the meantime, in between time, there was this Jason Derulo falling trending topic. But it turns out it, A, wasn't Jason Derulo. And B, it wasn't even from this year's Met Gala. It, it turns out uh, this person uh, fell at the 2011 Cannes uh, Film Festival. He wasn't even black. How y'all gonna make the white dude and the Jason Derulo and have him fall down the steps? So Derulo got wind of it because I'm sure he looked up and was like, why am I trending? I ain't even... He said, A... Don't believe everything you read on social media. Lesson B, don't be this guy. Whatever you do, don't be the can fall guy. So I'm glad it wasn't Jason because it felt bad for him, but now it's not him, so everything's all good. Let's keep it very R&B. Chris Brown is suspect in a Las Vegas battery problem. Apparently, he's accused of brawling with another guy early Monday during a basketball game in Vegas. It went down at the Palms Casino Resort. He was playing hoops at 342 in the morning. Why? (laughs) In Vegas, why? At some point, he got into an argument when one of the guys playing allegedly punched him. Pickup game was being played at the famous Hardwood Suite. I've actually been to that suite. It's very nice. You have your own basketball court in your room. Yes. Do it, Chris. But why at 4 o'clock you're playing basketball? I have no idea. Cops say Chris now has two options. Either sign a citation for misdemeanor battery or agree to show up in court and agree to show up in court to face charges or take his chances with the DA who would decide whether to press charges. Luckily for him... He's not. He's no longer on probation. He got off in March. He just settled a lawsuit over another fight during a pickup basketball game at an L.A. gym. So we'll see what happens. Miguel dropped a new song called Coffee featuring Wale. It's actually kind of hot. I'll get a clip for you in a minute or later on today. But he's being sued all of a sudden two years later for that. Remember that billboard jump when he tried to jump and caught the girl and smashed her head on the stage? Blah! Apparently, the girl, Cindy Sai, is seeking damages from Miguel in the MGM Grand Hotel where the awards show took place for negligence, damages, lost wages, pain, and suffering. Miguel, I suggest you give her a quickie and keep it moving. Stay out of court, okay? That's going to do it for the trending topics. If you missed any part, head on over to v-103.com. You can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can see my R&B face. Yes, 21 Shower Grammys. Keep it moving. Big Tig back with more next on V103. 